And how long have y'all been together? Man, going on four years. Yeah. Do y'all trust each other 100%? Yes. Oh, for sure. Maybe test the theory. Okay. Sure. <laughs> swap phones? Yeah. Y'all too? Yeah, swap phones. Is that fine? Yeah. Yeah, I don't Four. care. <laughs> Let's go through uh, Snapchat. What are we doing? Find, find oh. her Snapchat. Yeah, where's your Snapchat? Okay, hold on. I gotta, whoa, I gotta, whoa, whoa. Where you got to No, do? I got to find mm. <laughs> Whoa, what is she doing? I don't Snapchat. Whoa, what are you doing? I don't Snapchat. Yeah, she got to be hiding somewhere, bro. Like, no. Oh, I don't know what she's on. Think about it. That's weird. No, Ain't, it? Ain't hey. that weird? It might be. <laughs> I don't know. It might be. But, She's a little sus. I'm but this is your wife. Why is she acting no, like that? If you went to give her your phone and she acting like this, like, what are you doing? What's up? Whoa. Y'all done? Thank you. I think we're done. You know what? I personally be uh, thanking God first for having that encounter to actually happen. You know? Uh, because it was very, it would be very eye opening to me. To see said woman I've been with for four years. To be so reluctant. And to be uh, not very um, cooperative. To want to switch the phone in a timely manner. She wanted to delay it. She was like, <laughs> no, I don't want to give you my phone. I, I don't. Uh, uh, give me a minute. Let me, let me, let me. Hold on, hold on. Snapchat. What, what's that? I don't, I don't know what that is. Oh, let me, let me have my phone for a second. I, I need to do something on it. For what? What you need to do on it? Why can't you just switch the phone real quick? Let me look at yours. You look at mine. What's the deal? What's the problem? Why do, why do I gotta? Why does it gotta take like five minutes for you to give the phone up? Oh, because maybe you're trying to delete something or hide something that you were trying to keep hidden. You did not expect for us to do like a street interview for us to, for you to be put on the spot. And the sad thing is, is that the, the guy, he's too nice and he's, uh, he's like, Oh, in his back of his mind, he's like, I don't know. I mean, she, she wouldn't do that. I mean, we've been together four years. She doesn't, she doesn't portray that. She doesn't. Uh, give off those vibes. She probably didn't give off the vibes previously, but she's giving them off now. The scandalous, unfaithful, promiscuous vibes right now. And you need to believe them. If you ain't have kids with that individual, man or woman, if you have not T totally 100% investing. I mean, when you have kids, that's 100% investment. If you haven't done that, take the blows to the chin, take it like a man, and bounce. Let it go. It's no point trying to continuously pursue because she does not respect you enough already. If she's wanting to do that, she doesn't have enough respect for you. And she doesn't really love you like that if she's wanting to do that. Simple as that. If a woman is willing to do that, she is not emotionally invested. Same as a man. You're not emotionally invested. See, the relationship is already a loss. You might as well just keep it moving. Again, take it to the chest. Take it to the chin. Keep it moving. There's no point in continuing. That man got a blessing right there. I don't think he really realized it. Love y'all. God bless.